Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna do the Mediterranean Surf Doily. Now this is a suggesting Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Myself I have a hard time using threads so obviously I don't wanna waste a pattern because I can't use the yarn. So what I like to do is I like to substitute. So in my case I substitute it with the Peyton's Grace but I also changed the hook size from being a four, a three and a half millimeter size E to making it smaller so that I don't change the size of this particular doily to a two and a half millimeter just approximately the size C as in cat. So when you're using the Peyton's Grace if you decide to it turns out to be 101 grams. So when you look at the balls they're 50 grams each. So it takes just two balls and a smidgen of a third. And it depends on your tension of course if you would like to do this kind of concept. So I have a sample that I've done in multiple colors and I don't have that listed out anywhere because I just randomized the colors as I went. There's not a big pattern. It's only 16 rounds. It's actually pretty easy and there's an easy repeat going on in this thing. So if you think that each row is going to be a new lesson that's not the case. You'll see things will repeat in time. So let me uh, just show you the sample that I have and we're gonna continue our journey today. So here's what my doily sample looked like in my practice. Now I did screw up in the cross stitch here so it looks a little more open on the real sample. So this morning I did this until midnight last night. So um, I was too lazy to go to the office because I wasn't understanding the cross stitch quite nicely. The thing about crochet is that if you're screwing it up always screw up in the same way therefore it's never wrong. So I will be teaching it properly here this morning as I blew up the photo and I realized where I was going wrong. So when I did the crisscross I was actually crisscrossing the stitches when I actually should not have been doing that. So I will uh, demonstrate that. So we're gonna kick off quite nicely. You can change the colors as often or as little as you want to. I'm going to be using that solid color red like I showed you and it's actually quite a fun pattern. Now I do think there is a mistake in the pattern when it comes to these points here because this section right here refers to a space that's not there in the pattern. So I am going to be demonstrating that putting that in that extra space that um, it's referencing that is not there uh, when you're going to do this step. So no big deal. Again if you're gonna change anything just be consistent and it's gonna be a good day. So I have wet blocked this. So I wet it last night before bed and then I just let it dry on the counter and therefore it looks lovely and the outsides are supposed to be kind of roughly so let's begin by creating a slip knot. This is an intermediate level project. So some things are always assumed when they become more bigger levels. I am using that size a two and a half millimeter size C. C is about 2.75 millimeters but it's close enough for me. So I'm going to start in chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to just attach then to the very first chain over here to create the center ring of your doily. So just yarn over and pull through and therefore there's the center ring and we're gonna put the straggler around the outside of that ring so they get stuck underneath. This is the beginning chain and let's begin round number one. Being this is an intermediate level I'm only gonna just tell you what the repeat is and then you do the repeat. So you're not gonna be following this whole thing step by step in the sense that you see me do all stitches all the way around. So well, let's begin and you're going to chain three which will count as your first double crochet. And in the center ring I need you to put 23 more double crochets in there. Okay so just continue to count those. Get your 23 and then I'll meet you back here in just a moment for round number two. So I now have my 24th in there. So the, remember the chain three counts as one and then there's 23 double crochets. So that gives you a count of 24. Need you to verify that before you finish and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Now going forward in this video I'm going to give you the instructions and then I'm gonna tell you to slip stitch when you get around. I'm going to assume that you're going to do that. So every time we're going to start a new section we'll be starting the section from scratch unless we have to finish off somewhere unique of course. Let's begin round number two. In round number two you're going to chain four which will count as a double crochet and chain one. So one, two, three that's your double crochet and the fourth one is a chain one space. Going into the very next stitch just double crochet and then complete it with the chain one. And then going into the next one double crochet and then chain one. When you get back around you are going to double crochet the very last one and chain one and then attach it to the third chain up with a slip stitch and meet me for round number three in just a moment. So let's begin round number three. I would once in a while just count 
as you're making sure that you're getting the right counts all the way around. So just once in a while I would do that. Round number three is something we will repeat in the future. So it's a nice easy round. So you're gonna chain three which will count as the first double crochet that is sitting on top of the double crochet that exists right below it. The next space here will have two double crochets in it. So the repeat pattern all the way around is that there will be one double crochet in this double crochet and then two double crochet in the next chain one space. And I need you to do that all the way around. For round number three join it with the slip stitch and uh, the space is the last one before the slip stitch just so that you know and then uh, slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three. See at the end of this round number three. As we begin round number four you're noticing that it's not sitting quite flat. Do not worry about it at this time. We are going to wet block this at the end but you will notice that different um, rounds will create different opportunities for it to be able to sit more flat. So if you're seeing this at this moment don't flip out and we will move on to round number four in just a second. In round number four I believe that there's a mistake in the pattern and the reason for it is that the repeat when it gets you to do something it doesn't create a chain one space that's referenced in round number five as the center chain one space it's not there. So I'm going to show you the way that I think it should be. So I'm not saying that the designer's wrong I'm just saying that uh, I don't know what I'm saying. So let's uh, begin we're going to just chain up one and we'll do one single crochet in the first. So you're going to skip two double crochets and you're going to double crochet in the third one away and then chain one. Now it states that we're going to do a treble and then a chain one and you do that three times but because if you do it three times let's just do it three times I'll show you. So you're gonna treble and then chain one and then treble and then chain one and then treble chain one after that. And then it states then to put in a double crochet at the after the end. So I'm gonna show you this is what it's saying to do. So you can see that the three trebles the middle treble is actually the middle of the pedal. There's no chain one space there. So what I believe that we should be doing is that after the treble we're gonna chain one and put another treble in there. So there should be a total of four trebles in there. Chain one and then a double crochet. And what that will do is that when you pull it out like this you can see that there is actually a chain one space right in the center which is something that you can reference. So whatever you decide to do if you decide to follow the instructions for the pattern then what you should do then in round number five is use the center um, treble if you don't have the space to work with. So that's something that you can decide to do and that's kind of what I did too. So that's up to you. So then skip two single crochets or uh, skip two stitches and then start again. So skipping two and start with your double. I'll show you the way that I think it should be done. So double chain one and then a treble and we're gonna do that four times. So chain one, treble again Chain one. So that was the second treble going in. This this is gonna be the third. Chain one and then the fourth treble. Chain one and then a double. And then that will give you your chain one space to reference in the future. So skipping two and then a uh, single crochet in the next. And then skipping two and then begin that all over again. I'll see you at the end of this round number four. So I've now just finished number four. We'll be doing number four again in the future. You'll see that and uh, actually I believe it's done two more times in the future. So whatever you decided to do here um, whether you followed the pattern as written or did my little uh, change make sure you're just consistent in the future. So the next one we have to start off in the point. It says the slip stitch but when it comes to this doily work I always get like really frantic on the way that things look. I would honestly and I'm going to do it I'm going to fasten off completely at this point and I'm just gonna weave in this end and I'm just gonna show you how to uh, hide this in in the back. So take this strand and put it through a tapestry needle. So turn the doily over to the back side and just glide it through some of the stitch work in the back. Now 
You could have slip stitch and I've done that in the past but it always is visible. So why not start the next round with a nice fresh round and so this will happen again in the future. So this is just an option for you. This is the only time I'll show you how to fasten off though. So I don't waste too much of your time today. So just get it right to the end cut it and when we go to start round number five we're gonna start right in the chain one space of one of these points and let's begin that next. So create a slip knot to begin and what I want you to do at this point is that keep a long tail so that you can fasten off and I need you to go to that chain one space so it's right so there's two trebles if you did it my way there's two trebles and then two trebles it's the space it's the center space of a point. Now you're just going to do, so it's already on the hook so you're just gonna scoop the yarn and pull it through and then you have two loops, pull through two. That's a standing single crochet and so then you have a nice fresh start and you'll use this tail to hide in the ends later. So this round really simple is just going to begin and you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then just stretch to the next point and go into the chain one space. It's right in the center and go right into the space, single crochet and then chain seven and then next uh, point and etc. So please do this all the way around, round number five. So just come all the way back around, number five is done and we now have all these spaces. They're called loops in here. Now the, see this straggler? What you can do for round number six as we begin is that you're going to chain three and that'll count as a double crochet that's sitting on top of the single. You're then going to put nine double crochets and if you go right at top of those in the chain itself like around the chain put this with the chain and then it will get stuck underneath. So let's count these out together. So I've already done two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now that nine are in the next one you can just let the straggler fall out of the way is right in the single crochet so there's gonna be one in there and in the next chain seven space another nine and etc. and please do that all the way around. This is round number six. So let's move along to round number seven. You'll see that it's pretty much almost sitting flat which is awesome. So we're gonna repeat some elements. See how we did this section here? It's gonna be slightly different but it's gonna look similar to that. We're going to start off by chaining four. So one, two, three, there's your double crochet and the fourth is a chain one space. Skipping the next stitch out you are going to just double crochet and then chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet and chain one, skip the next stitch and etc. and you'll do that all the way around for round number seven and when you get all the way back around you'll be skipping the last stitch before this final chain and then you will slip uh, chain one and then you'll slip stitch to the third chain up. I'll see you at the end of this round number seven. Now that round number seven is done you can see it looks really quite pretty. So you're going to just chain three for round number eight. That's your first double crochet and like a round number three is that we filled in those spaces remember with two double crochet. We're gonna do the same thing here. So each chain one space will have two double crochet and then each double crochet will have a double crochet. And you'll do that all the way around so you will see that this will really nicely have this sit down flat after you're pretty much done this round. So just double crochet in the doubles and two double crochet in the chain one spaces for round number eight. So I'm coming up to the end of number eight. So I'm just going to slip stitch. I'm going to have you fasten off at this point. If you wanna follow the, exactly the way that the pattern is written that's up to you. I really struggled myself so I'm going to show you a different way of starting round number nine which is the crisscross which is why I kinda of screwed up the original in the first place. So I am, the pattern's not wrong it's just I was confused so I'm gonna show you a different way. That's the whole point of the tutorial today. So let me get you started on that next. So round number nine is a crisscross and the crisscross is actually not crisscrossing in the center of the, the rows here but it's actually a stitch where it crisscrosses in the middle so you actually have the base of the, of the project and it crisscrosses in the middle and then you'll have a space on top. The easiest way that I thought for myself, for myself to learn is to do it as a standing treble to begin. So just put it onto the hook and wrap the hook three times and I'm pinching it so that it doesn't unravel and then going into the next stitch. 
like this. And then I'm gonna pull through. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to pull through um, the two loops twice. So just yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now, we're, I'm going to pick it up as if I'm doing the regular work now. So I'm going to skip the next two stitches and you're going to yarn over and you're going to go to the third stitch away and you're going to yarn over and pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the sets by twos by two. Okay, but you're not done. You can see almost it's happening and then chain two and you're going to double crochet right where they intersect right here. And that will be how I would start it if I were you. So I'm gonna pull this out. So you can see it's a crisscross from this perspective. So just reverse if you would like to learn how to do that again. But the remaining of the stitch work that we have is that we are going to then start and we're going to begin again. So you're going to start the next one by yarning over three times. So one, two, three, and you're gonna go into the same stitch where this one is coming out of. And you're gonna pull through and then just pull through two sets only. So pull through two and two and hold. And then you're going to skip two stitches and then go to the third. So yarning over, go to the third, pull through, and now pull through all of them that all the way back up to the top. So pull through two. There's four sets. Two, two, and two. But you're not done. You have to chain two and double crochet right where they intersect. I'll show you again. So to begin, see how it's crisscrossing? Not neat. So you're gonna wrap three times going into the same stitch where this one is coming out of pull through. Pull through two and two only and hold. Skipping two, yarn over, go to the third one away, pull through and now pull through the sets of two all the way back to the top. But you're not done. You're going to chain two and double crochet right where they intersect. I want you to do this all the way around. This is round number nine and hopefully the way that I had you started is a lot easier. So I'll see you back here in just a moment. So now that I came all the way around the very last stitch here I'm going to just slip stitch to the top here of where we started. So you will notice that the last stitch of the last leg shares the first stitch that we started with. And so this is pretty much the hardest part of this whole thing and we're now going to move on to round number 10. In round number 10 we're going to chain three so one two, three. I'm going to leave the straggler on top of the line so it gets stuck underneath and we're in the first leg of one of these cross stitches. So the next is a chain two space so you're gonna put two double crochets into that chain two space and then you're going to skip this last leg of that cross stitch and just go to the first one. So just one double crochet in the first leg only and then two double crochets into the chain two space. And you're gonna do this all the way around. So, so you skip that last leg of this cross and go to the first one, one there, and then two into the next chain two space and so on. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 10. So I'm coming up to the end of number 10, slip stitching and let's move on to round number 11. So round number 11 is the same thing as these points that we did way down here, remember those? So the way that you did it here should be the way that you're going to do it here. So let's begin to do this. So we're going to chain one and do one single crochet in the first and then remember that you're skipping two and double crocheting into the third. I'm gonna do it the way that I wanna do it myself. So just chain one and then I'm gonna treble and I'm gonna do that a total of four times. So remember I'm improvising on the pattern. Once you get that forward, chain one and then double crochet to finish. Then skip two, single crochet in the next and then skip two and then begin that all over again. So you should have 30 sets of these by the time you get all the way back around. So please do this for round number 11. 
So I just came to the end of number 11. I would fasten off at this point. Again we remember how we did it over here. We, a nice fresh part. We're gonna I'm gonna do that again. So I'm just going to fasten off. I'll weave this in later. So what I want to do for round number 11 is exactly what we did here. So I'm going to start off and just for the record just so if you're keeping an eye on me um, I just literally finished a ball of yarn. So I'm on my second one now behind the scenes. So you're just gonna go to any of the chain one space that is in the middle of here and you're going to join it with a standing single crochet and then chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then go to the next chain one space that's directly in the center. Single crochet and then chain seven and do that all the way around. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 12. So just finish round number 12. Nice quick one. So let's begin number 13. You're going to chain three right where you're sitting and that's standing on top of the other single crochet that's there. So this time in the chain seven spaces and, and this is a straggler I would put it underneath so it catches as well. You're only gonna do seven doubles in a row. So this is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So once you get your seven done then you're just gonna go to the next single and double in there just for stabilization and then seven and then one in, uh, into the single. So last time we were doing down here it was nine. This time it's only seven. So I'll see you at the end of round number 13. Let's begin round number 14. Right where we are we want to chain four. So one, two, three. That's a double crochet and the fourth one is a chain one space. Like it was it says to repeat round number seven. It's like it was right here. So you're skipping the next one out and then you're double crocheting the next and then, and then polish it off with the double oh, with the chain one space. Skip the next double crochet, chain one, skip one and double crochet the next. Please do that all the way around. Round number 14. Let's move on to round number 15. It's the second last row. You're going to chain three. So one, two, three and then in each chain one space you're going to apply two double crochet like you had been before. So if it's a double crochet throw in a double crochet and if it's a chain one space put in two double crochet. I will see you at the end of this round, round number 15. So I completed round number 15. Round number 16 I would recommend that we go back to the way that it's written on it says to repeat round number four. I would repeat exactly as written. So I would not do that idea of me um, showing you how to make that extra space because we're not attaching to anything. It's the final round. So and it will be a little bit faster for you as well. So just chain up one in one single crochet in the first and then skipping over the two and double crocheting into the third one. Chain one and we're only gonna put three double cro uh, three trebles in a row. So we're just gonna do a treble chain one and a treble, chain one and a treble and then you're going to then just chain one and then put one double crochet in. So last time we had been doing the fours and then you're going to skip two and then single crochet in the next. So then it'll be a nice section like that. So please do this all the way around. This is your final round number 16. So now I've just finished it. I'm just gonna trim off my yarn. I've already shown you how to fasten off and hide in your yarn. So that's what I would do. Just take that tapestry needle and just weave it through the back side and then you're good to go. So this is a really neat idea. So what I have to do at this point is get this whole thing wet like damp and then just kind of use your hands and flatten it out on, on a flat surface and let it dry. So put it on a surface that you don't mind being wet for a bit. And then you could also steam it and it also does stay in the pattern that you could put the iron on steam mode and just turn it to the back side and just iron the back side of your doily as well. So please enjoy and this is the Mediterranean Surf doily and once I block it it's gonna be fabulous. Yes for sure. Have a good day. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.